If I see somebody put the lemon the wrong way, I do say, flip it over, guys. Flip it over, your life will be changed. Hey, I'm Shannon Whittingham, a registered dietitian and certified nutritionist. You probably know Melissa Beneshai for her little Bake by Melissa cupcakes and her viral salads. And lucky for you, we're in her kitchen. Thanks for coming. All right, so what are we making? How are we starting? We're making a full meal because a lot of people comment asking about protein or saying that they can't just eat a salad. Super easy, don't be afraid. We are making a roast chicken because it's actually easy and you can make it at home. And a vegan kale Caesar with garlicky breadcrumbs and we have a surprise for dessert. Awesome, let's dive right in. We're gonna start with the veggies that are going to roast under the chicken while it cooks. Sounds good. We're gonna start by chopping up the vegetables. Carrots are good for our eyes, good for our skin. And now I'm chopping the potatoes. Okay. And I think whenever you're chopping vegetables for anything, you just want to keep the size consistent. Now we're going to do the onion. Could you use other veggies for this if someone hates potatoes or carrots? Stick to root vegetables. Right. You could do radishes, turnips, uh, sweet potato. The onion is really there for flavor. I have one whole lemon going in and then the juice is gonna go in. We are now going to start with all of the seasoning. My husband, when I married him, actually taught me the importance of more seasoning. First, I'm gonna do parsley. Herbs are a great source of magnesium, potassium, which can help our kidney and liver function as well. Spices. Go crazy, you do you. These are the spices I literally use in everything because they're my favorite. We're gonna do dried oregano, homemade garlic powder, salt to taste, and then we have... Paprika. Paprika is the way to go because it has a lot of benefits for our eyes and our skin. And this is how I store nutrients into the food that my kids eat by seasoning. <laughs> That's nice. You don't have to put garlic, but I love garlic. Garlic also helps our body's natural detoxification system. It helps with your skin. It helps with your mood. Smashing it helps bring the flavor out. Olive oil. The goal of the oil is to allow the seasonings to adhere right. to the vegetables. It actually helps us to absorb a lot of the fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin A, D, E, and K. Do your kids enjoy eating vegetables? Sometimes people comment on my TikToks like, oh my God, you're so lucky that your kids eat all that food. I'm like, I never said my kids eat that food. <laughs> my kids do not eat that food. And then I have a husband who doesn't eat dairy, but really likes okay. red meat, but not anything else. And then I have me that I just love food. Anyway, now we're gonna do the chicken. We're making out a flavorful and delicious paste. It's like a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Lemon juice makes everything taste fresh. I'm gonna do the juice of one lemon. I wanna ask you this. How do you squeeze your lemons? There's only one way to use one of these things and you do it face down. Thank you. It's so funny because I see people on TikTok yeah. and I only Absolutely. comment positive things. However, <laughs> if I see somebody put the lemon the wrong way, I do say, flip it over, guys. Flip it over, your life will be changed. Now we're gonna do paprika. Exactly. If you don't usually cook with it, you should, you should start. Ground black pepper. And then oregano, yeah. love this. And this is unrefined Himalayan pink sea salt. So you actually get some more minerals with the pink salt in comparison to like iodized salt. So we have your garlic powder here again, that one's homemade, and your onion powder. So I'm gonna mince garlic. I'm just gonna add some parsley in. Who cooks more in your home? Would you say you or your husband? I cook more than my husband. Lately though, Work has been very busy and my husband is truly my partner, so he does cook a lot of dinners. Let's be real, it's mac and cheese, chicken fingers, french fries. Now I'm whisking it up. If this is your first time making a roasted chicken, it should be room temperature when you're starting. So I'm gonna take my veggies. Perfect. Just dump it right in there. And <laughs> don't sleep on all that delicious stuff. Your hand is actually your number one tool, so use it. And I've heard that chicken is gross to some people. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Here's my trick. First, we're gonna start by throwing some garlic. Do the same thing with a few pieces of lemon. We're gonna get some of the seasoning. Oh, this. Nice. I have this vivid memory of like my mom massaging like oil all over a chicken, going like this, which <laughs> you may think it looks gross, but I don't. It's delicious. And then you wanna get some good aromatics inside. Use your hands, use the tools that God gave you. <laughs> Okay, we're also just throwing that in. An entire garlic. 
You are looking on the inside of her. See all that good stuff in there? And the leftover lemons, it's gonna steam. All the moisture stays inside and cooks like from the inside out. My oven's already preheated to 425. I have an hour and 15 minutes. While the chicken cooks, let's make the salad. It's a vegan kale Caesar with Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna start with the Brussels sprouts. You're just gonna go as thin as you possibly can. So how do you get your kids to eat Brussels sprouts? That's a great question. I don't. <laughs> Most kids are choosy eaters. It's the only thing they can control. I make sure to always have one thing on it that they love, which is usually pasta with butter. <laughs> and one vegetable or fruit that they like. And Brussels sprouts are not one of those things. <laughs> oh, nice. Here's some kale. You want to take the vein out. I do find it easy to just fold it. You just go with a knife along the edge. You could also, if you buy pre-cut kale, like, like wood, it's like, <laughs> it tastes like wood. Kale is only good, in my opinion, when you chop it the right way. I don't believe in massaging kale. You don't massage your kale. No. I always massage my kale. Your thoughts are probably science-based. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Essentially, when we're massaging as well, we're helping to break down the compounds in the kale. Our body can better absorb the nutrients in them. So it's like the gateway to chewing. That's good to say, because most people don't chew their food as much as they should. I may be wrong, but I just enjoy kale when chopped fine. I'm gonna roll it up. So you're just gonna go and make little tiny ribbons. Who is the coolest person who has made one of your salads? Lizzo for sure. She's the queen of TikTok, oh like a gosh. lot. Cardi B, Patrick Starr, Jay Mitchell. Those are just the ones I could think of right now. Now we're gonna do green onions. Green onions can sometimes mask as a mix between onion and garlic, if you will. Who taught you how to cook or how did you learn? My parents very much empowered me in the kitchen, so I would always help. My grandma always let me make the salad with her. It's like arts and crafts. Yeah. But you could eat your project. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna go check on the chicken. I think she's probably done. Okay, here she is. Very carefully, take the chicken. Let the chicken rest for about 20 minutes or longer. Now we're gonna do the dressing. First ingredient for the vegan Caesar dressing is hummus. Good source of fats and protein. The juice of two lemons. Every good dressing has acid and fat. My acid of choice is always gonna be lemon juice. German mustard, not spicy, just delicious. Two cloves of minced garlic. One of the secret ingredients is capers. Great for muscle contraction, your nervous system. Salt, olive oil, black pepper. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast has all of the amino acids that you would find in chicken. If you're eating a plant-based diet, add nutritional yeast. Now I'm going to just mix the dressing. How do you decide what ingredients to use? I think it's very easy to only put nourishing ingredients in meals. I have two small children and their health is the single most important thing what you put into your body has an impact on the way that you feel. So now we're gonna make the topping. We're actually gonna toast some panko and make garlicky panko. I'm going to drizzle the pan with olive oil. Mince three cloves of garlic. You're gonna start at medium, medium, low. As soon as you see bubbles form, you're gonna add panko. Mix it up. That's it, it's coated and you're gonna toast it. All right, now that we got this color, they're done. Why this and not store-bought croutons? I have not bought store-bought croutons ever, actually. You're buying stale bread. I always have stale bread. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the dressing and I'm gonna dress the salad. We're gonna give this a quick mix. All right, everything's done. I think we're ready to eat. Awesome, I can't wait to dig in. Oh my God, I wish you guys can taste this. But this is so good. Now I understand why your salads go viral. <laughs> it's a great meal prep. We have our fiber rich carbs coming from the kale and the potatoes. We have protein, healthy fats, but I feel like we're missing something. Of course we are. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Dessert. Our dessert. It's so important to have balance and make space for desserts. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. I can't live without dessert, so I'm gonna pack as much nourishment as I can. 
so I can have the single best dessert when I'm done with my dinner. I do peanut butter and jelly and triple chocolate fudge. Ah, like, look at how beautiful they are. This I've never heaven. tried it like that before. This is what heaven have tastes like, and you could have it too. <laughs> Just eat healthy meals. I'm gonna do the vanilla with cookie dough. Mm. So good. I could eat this whole thing. Thank you so much for having me. This was so delicious. I could have this every day. No kidding.